got a big crowd here today. Only news outlets with a primarily Chinese audience were invited to the ambassador's Q&A session. Over 40 minutes, John McCallum advocated for Meng Wanzhou's release along with the two detained Canadians. Well, my hope is that that will be the outcome, but it is not something that I necessarily control. His shockingly candid remarks went even further when he questioned the U.S. for requesting the Huawei executive's extradition. I never expected that we would have this problem uh, thrown at us. I cannot speak for the motives of the United States. You'd have to ask Donald Trump or someone in the U.S. government. The Prime Minister was careful with his words, dodging questions on whether he shares the ambassador's opinion. We will ensure as a government and as a country uh, that all the rules and the independence of our justice system is properly defended and properly supported. Canada has said all along, this is a legal matter, a position that was undermined when President Donald Trump said last month he'd be willing to use the arrest as a bargaining chip in his trade war with China, drawing accusations Meng's arrest was politically motivated. McCallum's comments yesterday don't help matters, according to one former ambassador, who says it appears McCallum went rogue. Mr. McCallum should have uh, shown uh, more restraint and not uh, immiss himself in uh, an already very complicated uh, judicial uh, process. But not everyone in the diplomatic community agrees. He certainly did it because uh, he was acting on instruction, instruction from the government to be able to soothe the tension and perhaps even act as Canada is victim in all of this. The opposition says decisive action needs to be taken. It's hard for me to see uh, the, the, the value added that, uh, that the ambassador has uh, added to this scenario. If I were prime minister, I would fire John McCallum. The government is not taking that advice, and John McCallum is still ambassador to China. Mm. And, and Katie, are we getting a better sense of whether John McCallum is trying to advance a, a coherent government strategy here, or whether he was just going rogue? Signs so far point to McCallum going rogue. Sources I'm speaking to in the diplomatic community are puzzled by what he said, and his comments could actually expose Canada to more criticism from the United States if authorities there think that he's crossed a line and compromised their legal case. So far, I'm told, though, there have been no complaints from the Americans, at least yet. Andrew? Okay, Katie Simpson in Ottawa tonight. Thanks.